Hi everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to change your old fluorescent lighting with the LED replacement. Check it out. So here's my old light fixture in my kitchen and it is so loud. And now the two light bulbs are out I thought it would be a good time to replace this and I'm gonna be using the direct wire ballast bypass so I'm gonna do the wiring and then show you guys how to do that I just realized I got two separate colors from Home Depot which means I'm gonna have to go exchange one of them I would like to keep um, 5000k we're gonna start with turning the light off from the light switch Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is remove the light bulbs. If you just turn this off, the whole fixture and the bulbs might be hot, be careful. And the next step is to remove that cover and I'm gonna show you guys how. Okay, most covers, most covers are um, pulled without any screws. There might be some that there's one or two screw you need to remove, but the style is usually you have to just squeeze this till that part releases on the front and the back. What is that, a spider? Okay. And then take it down. And now you have all the access to the wiring here so we'll be completely bypassing this ballast and on the ballast usually it will tell you the colors black and white is the line which is the power coming in and red blue and yellow is the one that's going to the fluorescent lamps we are still going to use the red blue and the yellows so we can uh, put our direct power into the fluorescent light through there. So what we care about here is where your main power is coming in. And there's some crazy stuff going on here. This house is a rental place and I don't know who did this wiring, but there's some weird stuff going on which we're gonna ignore. What we care is our natural and the line coming in, which is this black and white is basically going here. This wire is our neutral and this is our hot right here, the blue line coming in. So you don't even have to remove this. You can just follow the cables and reuse these cables coming into the ballast and then just make the connections there so you know you don't have to mess with this stuff. That's what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna cut the uh, lines coming in here even though I know I cut the power I tend to not uh, cut both lines at the same time in case there's something still going on I don't want to short this and blow something up so I cut them in single pieces so this is our this is our neutral and hot line here you don't have to remove the ballast unless you really need some paper weight then you can definitely get this and put it on your desk otherwise it's okay to stay there so what I usually cut everything off and then okay the bulbs I'm using needs AC on one side only, power on one side only. I don't need to wire anything to this side. So I could basically cut all these cables and um, just that side will be just a support for you. And we're gonna use these cables 
to connect our AC now currently in this two sets of uh, neutrals and hot. Okay, the way we're gonna wire this is one side will be our hot, the other side will be our neutral, which you can see there's two cables coming out. They are same color, so in order to remember which side that is what, you can mark them with electrical tape. So you know electrical tape side would be your hot and stuff without electrical tape would be your neutral. This one, if I plug anything into the yellow side over here, that's already coming to this one. So I don't have to do anything to this wiring. If I give 120 to this two, that will already power this outset. I just have to do the same thing for this inner here. So we'll have all the powers right there. And the manual that comes with it basically explains the same thing I'm just telling you right now. One side is going to hot side, the other one going to the neutral. It already comes with this conversion kit, but since we already have everything up there, we don't need to replace anything. We can just use the wire nuts that's in the kit. And the bulbs itself will show AC input side. This side has to go where we are plugging everything and the other side is the one that's, you know, be the support side. So you have to make sure you put this AC input side into the side you're wiring. Okay, so I took the electrical tape and marked the ones coming out on the right side. With the electrical tape, I'm going to designate this as hot. Again, yellow side will be neutral. I'm sorry, the left side will be the neutral. And with this two, again, I marked it together. The one coming from the right side and the one coming from the right side on this plug. They're together. They're all going to go into the same hot line. And I'm going to cut this right now and do the connections and show you guys. Always leave yourself enough cable so the cable from here and here could meet somewhere in the middle and be tucked back into the fixture. If you cut it too short, then you're gonna have to splice and put cables together. My original cables are coming out pretty long already. I'm gonna make my connections and try to tuck everything in here. All right, I got all the wires stripped. I have to tell you guys, I've been stripping for a long time and these wires were really hard to strip. I don't know why. I had took some effort to get them all nicely stripped. So I'm sorry I can't show you how to do it because I'm on top of a ladder and I'm trying to hold the camera at the same time. So I'm gonna do my connections and show you guys one more time here. Here we go. All the neutrals one from that, one from this, and one from this, all the left sides coming into the white wire, which is the neutral, and the ones with the black tape, one, two, and three, coming into our hut, and all together. And then twist all your wires together, make sure you're going clockwise, so when you're putting the nut, you're tightening them instead of loosening them. So if you, you know, go counterclockwise and you start it, you know, putting the nut, I will loosen them up. So I'm gonna put the wires on and then check to see if it's working. Here we go. Another tip, if you put your nut in and you're still seeing wires coming out here, it's visible. Remove it and cut the tip of the wires, make it a little bit shorter so you can put the, you can see how short this one is. And make sure they're tight. And after they're tight, you shouldn't be able to touch a wire here. Then it's safe. So let's check it out and see if it's gonna work.
All right, this is just a try and everything is working. Now I can remove the fluorescent bulbs and put the cover back on. And if you wanted to remove the dead weight, there's usually one screw on one side and the other side is in a groove. Just remove this screw. Let's see if I can drop this in my head. There we go. And it's out. Okay, another important tip when you're closing this stuff up, make sure your wires aren't getting pinched over here with the sharp edges. There's an opening here for the cables to go through. And then um, make sure everything is into that cruise and not getting pinched here. So you don't get a short and blow your fuses. Of course the other side isn't important because we don't have nothing there. And this is a good time to clean all the dead bugs out of the lens before you put it up there. The almost forgot the kit comes with the sticker letting people know you replace it with the LED and that should be only replaced with um, LED um, direct wire lamps. Put this on. <laughs> 